Hi everyone, I've decided to make this video because it's become quite clear to me that nobody knows what the hell the term transgender means. Obviously I discuss the issues of gender identity a lot in my videos so I do think it's important at least the people that watch my videos understand what it means. So firstly let's just lay down some definitions. The term trans trender has been adopted lately mainly by the anti-SJW community to describe individuals who refer to themselves as transgender but who don't actually wish to to undergo sex reassignment surgery or take hormones to get the secondary sex characteristics normally associated with members of the opposite sex. The term transsexual used to be a term used to describe individuals who do medically transition. More recently, the term transsexual has been replaced in vernacular usage with the term transgender, which is actually an umbrella term used to dilute the meaning of the term transsexual in an analogous way to the way queer has been used to dilute the meaning of the term homosexual. Don't shoot the messenger if you disagree with all that. I don't make the rules. I just try to explain the politics driving them so they're clear to everyone. The diagnostic criteria for gender dysphoria is set out by the American Psychiatric Association. For those who are really interested in this topic, I highly recommend you watch my video which outlines the current diagnostic criteria and explains what it means in practical terms. Although it is necessary to get a diagnosis in order to medically transition, what a lot of people don't realise is you don't don't have to want to medically transition in order to obtain that diagnosis and you certainly don't need to have a diagnosis of gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder in order to be considered transgender. Accordingly, the APA's guideline on dealing with transgender and gender non-conforming people defines the term transgender as follows. Transgender, an objective that is an umbrella term to describe the full range of people whose gender identity and or gender role do not conform to what is typically associated with their sex assigned at birth. Although the term transgender is commonly accepted, not all transgender and gender non-conforming people self-identify as transgender. So I would be one of those people because I obviously don't identify as transgender but I don't typically conform to role. Now the National Centre for Trans transgender equalities definition is pretty similar. Transgender is a broad term that can be used to describe people whose gender identity is different from the gender they were thought to be when they were born. Trans is often used as shorthand for transgender. The EU transgender lobby's definition is as follows. Transgender or trans is an umbrella term which includes those people who have a gender identity which is different from the gender assigned at birth and those people who wish to portray their gender identity in a different way to the gender assigned at birth. Transgender includes those people who feel they have to or prefer to or choose to whether by language clothing accessories cosmetics or body modification present themselves differently to the expectations of the gender role assigned to them at birth this includes among many others transsexual and transgender people transvestites cross-dressers no gender multi-gender gender queer people intersex and gender variant people who relate to or identify as any of the above nb do not use transgendered and always use the descriptive terms preferred by the individual trans identity is not dependent upon medical procedures glad definition and for those who don't know, GLAD used to be for gay rights activism. Their definition of transgender is an umbrella term for people whose gender identity and or gender expression differs from what is typically associated with the sex they were assigned at birth. People under the transgender umbrella may describe themselves using one or more of a wide variety of terms, including transgender. Use the descriptive term preferred by the person. Many transgender people are prescribed hormones by their doctors to bring their bodies into alignment with their gender identity for whatever that means. Some undergo surgery as well. But not all transgender people can or will take those steps and a transgender identity is not dependent upon physical appearance or medical procedures. Are you seeing a pattern yet? Look up 
any transgender lobby pushing for policy practice and legislation changes that relate to this. And you'll see that they're all using similar definitions of this term, transgender. Why is this being done? By making transgender identity accessible to people who are not transsexual, lobbyists have been able to recruit a larger population of activists who are personally invested in the ideology of transgender identity. This has actually served to help popularise the cause at an exponential rate. I mean, five years ago, who really was thinking about this issue? Ten years ago, no one. This is new. And it's now got to the point where people are so afraid of questioning or criticising transgender ideology, they won't even challenge or question when trans activists are advocating the medical transition of children who cannot consent for fear of personal and professional repercussion. And those fears are legitimate, by the way. People's lives have been ruined by transgender activists. So what does all this mean? It means that the people who have power in this conversation do not care who you think is legitimately transgender or not. It means a person does not have to have a clinical diagnosis of gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder in order to be considered transgender. It means the definition transgender can include any useful idiot. Think about it. If a diagnosis of gender dysphoria and medical transition were necessary to be considered transgender then it would already be considered a protected characteristic under disability discrimination law which does actually cover psychiatric disorders as long as they lead to a substantial long-term impairment yet transgender identity advocates demand a category of their own outside disability discrimination legislation which demands far more than reasonable adjustments. <laughs> now it's understandable how your average anti-SJW might easily be misled into believing transgender means the same thing as transsexual and base their assumptions accordingly. But as to the question of why transsexual self-defining anti-SJWs have adopted this term, transgender, you have to wonder what motivates that really because they should know better under the circumstances. In my personal experience, transsexuals who are genuinely critical of trans activism will describe themselves as transsexuals so that distinction between trans trenders and them is made clear. They'll also tend to be very critical of the changes that were made in the DSM-5 because those changes came about as a result of trans lobbyists and they undermined that distinction between transsexualism and cross-dressing. It really shouldn't be a surprise that there are some transsexual people out there critical of the tactics of transgender activists or SJWs but who do actually themselves adopt the terminology of trans activists when you consider what trans people as a whole have to gain. People could potentially be criminalised for misgendering. So to any anti-SJWs watching who are genuinely concerned by all this, it is worth checking your terminology is consistent with that which the trans lobby are proposing right now. But yeah, the important thing to recognise I think is this is a women's rights issue but it's not just a women's rights issue it's a child protection issue and it's a free speech issue so ultimately it's a human rights issue and if you care about human rights you should care about this because if you cannot describe reality how the hell are you supposed to defend your rights so I hope people pay attention and don't allow themselves to be outwitted by this insidious attack on our rights.